In backyards across the country, kids fantasize about getting the game-winning hit for their hometown team. And for a select few, dreams do come true. It's great. Growing up a fan of the Diamondbacks, it was always a dream of mine as a kid to be able to play for this team, and it's been fun to, to be around it. It's a dream come true. So, I mean, uh, you grow up in the state, and uh, you follow the history as, uh, of not having a major league team, and then it coming along and growing up basically kind of alongside it, and then here to be a part of it, you know, it's a real honor. As kids, they played baseball for fun, but now it's become their profession. You know, as a kid, you just do it for fun, and you don't really realize that it's a possibility until, you know, you're 18 years old or so, and then you start to think, maybe I can do this. So, as a kid, I never really, you know, it was always a dream, but you never really thought it was a reality until until you get a little bit older. From a young age, I think there's a, there's a lot of kids, that's their dream, is, is to play in the major leagues. Yeah, I was fortunate enough to have, grow up in a baseball family. I had an uncle who played 12 years with St. Louis, and so uh, growing up watching him, I mean, ever since I can remember, that's... I want to be on TV playing ball just like him. So uh, I still pinch myself, and you know we're 12 years into it. You know, so it's it's definitely a blessing, and uh, you know just have a lot of fun with it. 14 years ago, they cheered the Diamondbacks to a World Series as fans. Now they have the opportunity to be a part of the team they love. I went to the World Series as a kid, and I got to kind of experience um, those games in, in person, and kind of really you know solidified myself as a fan as a kid. You know, so it was cool to grow up watching that and then be able to be in the clubhouse. I, mean, I think the biggest one for everybody in Arizona is winning the World Series, you know, and Gonzo getting uh, the clutch hit to, to seal the deal. You know, always, uh, you know, anytime the big unit took the mound, you know, he's punching out, you know, 15 to 20 guys a night. You know, that was always special. And so, uh, you know, at times emulate them, try to be like them. And then here you are in camp and, and they're instructing you and they're helping you along. And uh, it's, it's a real honor. Reporting from Salt River Fields, I'm Stephen DiLorenzo, ArizonaSports.com.